Hello all, this is Nazima from Lit Appliance. What is happening in these pictures? Can you guess the topic? Yes, it is direct speech and indirect speech. What is direct speech? The actual words of the speaker are quoted as it is. The exact words of the speaker are enclosed within a double quotation. For example, what are you doing? I am studying. So direct speech happens when the person asks the question and the person replies to the answer. Here Yogi said I am studying. Yogi said is the reporting part. I am studying is the reported part. So the actual words of the Yogi is, is enclosed within a double, double quotation. Yogi said I am studying. I am studying enclosed within a double quotation. So it is called as direct speech. Okay, what is indirect speech? In indirect speech, actual words of the speaker are transformed. Indirect speech is said or written in a simple language. Why we need indirect speech? To avoid confusion while using direct speech while reporting. For example, Yogi said that he was studying. Yogi said is the reporting part that he was studying is the reported part. In this, the actual words of the speaker are not spoken directly. It was spoken indirectly. Hence, it is not put into the inverted comma. Yogi said that he was studying. In this sentence, here that the conjunction is employed here. Pronoun has been changed he and tense form is changed into was and studying. Hence, this is called as indirect speech. Nextly, let us see one more example for the direct speech and indirect speech. Direct speech, I am baking cookies for Jane. Indirect speech, Grandma said she is baking cookies for you. If you see this picture itself, you can understand. I will buy a laptop for you. My dad said he would buy a laptop for me. So, I will buy a laptop for you is a direct speech. That's why it is put into the inverted comma. Nextly, my dad said he would buy a laptop for me is a indirect speech. Let us know the rules to change the direct speech into indirect speech. In left side in green color I have given the rules to change the direct speech into indirect speech. In right side in pink color I have given the sentence that is direct speech. Peter said to Daisy I am happy today. This is direct speech. To change this into indirect speech we have six rules. First one remove commas and quotations. So the commas and quotations have been removed except the full stop. Second rule, change verb form in the reporting part. Peter said to Daisy, I am happy today. The sentence is, Peter said to Daisy, I am happy today. So we have changed said to into told. Peter told Daisy, I am happy today. Third one, add conjunction between reporting part and the reported part. So Peter's told Daisy is the reporting part. I am happy today is the reported part. So we have to add conjunction between the reporting part and the reported part. Here we have add that. That is a conjunction. Peter told Daisy that I am happy today. Nextly, fourth rule. Change pronoun in the reporting, reported part. Peter told Daisy that after that we have to change the pronoun. I am happy today. So, I, I into what? Peter is a boy. So, we have to use the pronoun he here. Peter told Daisy that he is happy today. Okay. Number fifth rule. Change helping verb in the reporting part. Told Daisy that he was happy today. Here he is happy today. Is, is changed into was. Peter told Daisy that he was happy today. Next one. Change time adverbials in the reported part. If any. So if there is any time adverbial, we have to change that. Peter told Daisy that he was happy today. So instead of today, we are using that day. This is, today is a time adverbial. So we are changing the time adverbial into that day. Nextly, usage table of direct speech and indirect speech. So, firstly, we have seen the rules to change the 
direct speech into indirect speech. Now we are going to see the usage table of direct speech and indirect speech. So there are four kinds of sentences. They are declarative, imperative, interrogative and exclamatory. This direct speech and indirect speech usage will be differ according to the types of sentences, according to the kinds of sentences. First one, we have divided the reporting part and the reported part now. After that, we have conjunction also. Then pronoun, it goes on. First one, declarative. So, in direct speech, if the reporting part, we have to change the verb form in the reporting part for in, uh, direct speech. Okay. Says, said, said to. So, uh, when we are using this in, into indirect speech, says, come, says, said into said only, said to into told. So, conjunction for the declarative sentence is that. Next one, imperative sentence. So, direct speech, says, said, said to. When, um, this is reporting part verb form, okay. So, nextly, we have to change this when we are using in a indirect speech. So, says, said, said to. As it is an imperative sentence, we have to use the imperative sense here. Advises, request, orders. If it is a past tense, uh, we have to use advised, requested, ordered. The conjunction for the imperative sentence is positive to. If it is positive to. If, the, if it is negative, not to. So, the sentence, if the sentence is positive, we have to use to. If the sentence is negative, we have to use not to. Next one, interrogative sentence. Indirect speech says, said, said to. These are verb form in the reporting part. When we are using this in an indirect speech, we have to use like this. Ask, questions, inquires. If the interrogative sentence is a past tense, is in, is in the past tense, we have to use asked, questioned, inquired. So, conjunction for this interrogative sentence is WH question. If it is a WH question, what, why, how? If it is an, if it is yes or no question, we have to use the conjunction if or whether. Next one, exclamatory sentence. The reporting part verb form says said, said to. So when it is in the indirect speech, the reporting part verb form the exclaimed with a joy or sorrow. So as it is a exclamatory sentence, we have to use this word exclaimed with a joy or sorrow. Nextly, conjunction for this exclamatory sentence in the indirect speech is that. Next one, usage table of the indirect speech and the indirect direct speech. So, reported part. So, firstly, we have seen the verb form and the conjunction. Now, we are going to see the pronoun, verb form and time adverbial. So, direct speech, indirect speech. So, pronoun, indirect speech and pronoun in the indirect speech. So, direct speech, I, indirect speech, he or she. In the, so direct speech, my, in indirect speech, his or her. Direct speech we, in indirect speech pronoun they. Next one, verb form. Verb form in the direct speech and the indirect speech. Direct speech am is, in indirect speech was. Direct speech are, indirect speech were. Indirect speech can, indirect speech could. Direct speech will, in indirect speech would. Direct speech has or have. In indirect speech, we have to use had. Next one, time adverbials. Direct speech and indirect speech. So, time adverbials, if it is uh, today, yesterday, tomorrow, last month, in the direct speech, we have to use today means that day in indirect speech. Yesterday means previous day or the day before. Today means next day, the day before, day after. Last month means a month before. Now let us see the examples according to the types of sentences. Declarative sentence. Aslam said to Ben, I will come tomorrow. 
So let us see how to change this sentence. So here I have given the number. Number and the number denotes the rules. Six rules to change the direct speech into indirect speech. First one is we have to remove the commas and quotations. Second one is we have to change the verb form in the reporting part. Third one is we have to add conjunction between the reporting part and the reported part. Fourth one is we have to change the pronoun. Fifth one is we have to change the tense form in the reported part. And the sixth one is we have to change the time adverbial in the reported part. So let us see the example. Aslam told Ben that he would come the day after. So here we have employed the rules. So first one we have removed the quotation. Second one we have to we have changed the verb form in the reporting part. Said to to told. Third one we have added conjunction that between between the reporting part and the reported part. Fourth one is we have changed the pronoun I into he, and fifth one. We have changed the tense, will into would, and sixth one we have changed the time adverbial in the reporting part, reported part. The tomorrow into the day after. Next one exclamatory. My friend said, "Alas, I have lost my purse." So this is exclamatory sentence. So we have changed the exclamatory sentence. My friend exclaimed that she had lost her purse. So in this example, we have, as per the rules, we have removed all the commas and quotations. Nextly, verb form in the reporting part we have changed, set into exclaimed, as it is an exclamatory sentence. Then we have added the conjunction that. Next one, we have changed the pronoun I into she. Next one. Uh, we have changed that tense have into had. So my friend exclaimed that she had lost her purse. So this is an exclamatory sentence. Next one imperative sentence. The policeman says the accused keep calm. Let us see how it is changed. The policeman ordered the accused to keep calm. So imperative sentence. As this is imperative sentence, it it will come as like order, advice, request, all these things. Here, as is the word from the policeman to the accused, we are we can use the word ordered. The policeman says instead of says we are using the word ordered. The accused. After that, we are using conjunction to as it is a positive sentence. The policeman ordered the accused to keep calm. Next one, interrogative sentence. A teacher said to the student, "Why are you late?" So this is a interrogative sentence with a wh type of question. Let us see how it is changed. A teacher said to instead of said to, we are using the word asked. Hence, this is a interrogative sentence. Next one, after that. The teacher asked the students. After that, what we are not using any conjunction because it is a it has the question word. Why they are uh, they were late? Here we are using uh, we are changing you into they because it uh, denotes the plural students. Okay, so we are using you into they. So, uh, hence we are changing into past tense. Tense also have to be changed. We are using, we are changing are into were. Okay. So, a teacher asks the students why they they were late. So, we have to remove all the commas and quotations. Nextly, let us have a exercise. Change into direct speech to indirect speech. Sana said to Raj, "My hobby is drawing." The Indian captain said, "We have won the match." My mom says, "Don't hurt others." The collector said, "The corporation keep the city clean." 
The girl said, please lend me a book. Tom said, Jerry, wow, the food is yummy today. Alam said to his dad, can you take me to my mother now? Dina said to Siddharth, how brave you are. My friend said me, when will you come back? Now answer the following. The words of the speaker is das in the indirect speech. Is report. At last, we shall have a small recap by answering the following. First one, the words of the speaker is das in the direct speech. The words of the speaker is reported in the direct speech. Second one, it is placed between the das. So, actual words of the speaker is placed between the inverted commas. Third one, the words of the speaker is not reported in the das. Indirect speech. Number fourth one, tenses are both in reporting part and the reported part. True. Number five, pronoun is in das part. Pronoun is in reported part. Number six, Conjunction will come in the middle of reporting part and the reported part. True. Number 7. Do the time adverbials come in all the sentences? No, the time adverbials won't come in all the sentences. Thank you. Let us see in the next video.